All right, y'all can hear me. Welcome back to another video, man. All I've seen is the title of this. It's called I Married a Monster. Two million views in five days. And she says I was scared to post this. Yikes, bro. I don't even know what this is about. So we going in this joint just ladies. blind. I need a haircut badly, bro. I need a haircut like badly, badly. I need a haircut, retwist, all of that shit. Hi, trophies. Um, welcome back to my channel. Or uh, welcome if you're new here. Um, Two million. This must have been some serious. If you hear my any noise in the background, that's um, the new baby. Um, a lot has happened since the last time that I recorded. I think the last time you guys saw me, I was in my second trimester. And, um, yeah, I think I did post an update in the community section Bro, when so the nervous. baby was born. Um, Cause this has to be and like bad, I said bad. that I would be back soon. Um, and that was a few months ago now. Um, I thought that when I came back on here that it would be to good news maybe do like some kind of newborn favorites or meet my new baby or something like that but um unfortunately um it's been a little over a month since i um had to end up leaving my husband okay um I honestly don't even really know where to start. This has to be bad, with this, bad, um, bad. Just because it's just such a hard topic. And I honestly thought that by the time I got on here that I wouldn't have any tears left because I've just cried so much. Um, It's like I built this channel and this whole brand around being this man's wife and trying to teach other women how to attract good men and mm. provider men and all these different things. And um, I truly held my husband or saw him as the bar. Um, for what every woman should, you know, type of man that, or type of husband that every woman should aspire to have. Okay. And um, I didn't realize that the person I married was actually going to be my biggest nightmare. So, basically, um, I'm scared, bro, I'm scared, I'm scared. When I first met my husband, oh. um, as I've already talked about in another video, um, I think it was my single mom video, I, I explained, you know, a little bit about how we met, and, um, I really thought that that man was my Prince Charming. Um, I thought that he was my knight in shining armor and, you know, he portrayed himself to be this amazing, upright, righteous Christian man. Um, That's so scary how we just flipped. Like, what the actual... And I believed him. Um, I think shortly after we got married, and this is something that I haven't talked about, um, I started noticing like certain things 
changed with him. Okay. And, um... I just started to see a few things that I didn't like, but I honestly thought that some of these were things that I could get past. Um, see, you can't ignore the red flags, man. See? What? 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 Damn. This is crazy. This is crazy. Like, the family was at the wedding and everything. Everybody's saying congratulations. You have a channel that, like, promotes marriage, kids, and this is the shit that's going on behind the screen. Nah, that's insane, bro. She is strong for posting it on the internet, though, but damn, bro. I don't even know what where to start. <sighs> um, six weeks ago, I was um, changing my daughter, my four-year-old daughter, and um, I noticed that um, when I changed her, she was red and very sensitive. And um, immediately, my first thought was, did someone touch her? Your daughter, bro. Oh, God. Your daughter that you brought into the world, bro. That's insane. Um. So I asked her, I said, baby, did somebody touch you? And she ended up saying it was daddy. But this is a nightmare. I felt like my world ended on that day. Like, how do you even recover from my that, bro? Like, what are you even thinking, bro? Like, wasn't home at the time when she told me. But I knew he would be coming home soon, so all I could do was just say, don't tell him that you told me. Uh, and I just instantly started trying to think of how I could get my kids out of the house. Because I knew if I confronted him. Yeah, she can't confront him with him in the house, bro. Or asked him about it, house, that though. he would just lie. And that he would probably just continue to keep doing stuff to her, but just become more covert or more sneaky or or whatever as soon as my husband got home I he was actually picking up the boys from school my two older boys from school as soon as he got home I told him that I was gonna go Halloween shopping with my sister um, because I just needed an excuse to get out of the house with all the kids and I knew if I said something like oh I'm going okay, to the so grocery store the that um, it would be suspicious like why am I bringing all the kids and like packing things like things that we would need and things like that so going Halloween shopping was the best thing I could think of to just Hurry up and get the kids this out of so the house. Insane, bro. Like, I'm sorry, I had to. Get I'm just thinking, to... like you waited your, you went through your whole life, right? Relationships after relationships, started the channel, started the family, and this is what you have to deal with, bro. Then you have an audience that looks up to you. Oh my God.
And then the daughter, bro. Like, this is like... What do you even do? Then the dad has boys? But what kind of example does this show the boys? Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, you go through so much to build a family just for that joint to burn down like this.